Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Go on, come on in. My name is Dew. I'm the owner of Dew Dodds and Designs. If this is the first time you're joining me, welcome. I'm super happy you're here. Um, I'm a decorative furniture painter and an online business coach for decorative furniture painters that want to take their furniture business online. But every now and then, I got to get out of the office. I got to get out of the office. It's making me crazy, guys. It's making me crazy. And you know, if you have an online business, you know that a lot of that business is online and you're sitting at a desk at a computer. And there's a reason you chose to do that is because it's easier. You work smarter and not harder, right? I'm 50 plus, guys. I can't lug this furniture around all the time. It's, it's hard. So I do more of my business online so I don't have to do the heavy lifting, but there still is a lot of work involved in this. Hey guys, good to see you. If you come on, say hey. Hey, Mixed Up Misses. I still don't know what your real name is. I would love to know your real name if you don't mind sharing it with us because it's hard for me to say Mixed Up Misses because I'm so mixed up anyway, right? <laughs> hey, Monica, glad you could come on. Hey, what are you guys doing today? Are y'all just kind of bummed out? It's like middle, well, it's not the middle of the week. It's almost the end of the week. And I'm, it's kind of like, I'm just kind of checking out. And it's not even Friday yet, guys. And I'm just like, I just don't want to do anything else. I just want to come in here in my bed. It's Serena. Hey, Serena. Thank you. I'll try to remember that. I'll try to remember that. But yeah, I'm just checking out. I'm like, I don't want to do work anymore. I don't want to do this stuff on the computer. I want to work with my hands and as a creative, you guys know how that, that need and that feel, that want, that we have to be touching something and painting something and changing something. It just feels that part in our soul as creators that we have to do, right? Monica says she's sitting outside relaxing. Well, I hope it's better weather where you're at because right now it's like 103 here and I'm not going to sit outside. I'm sitting in here in the AC. But guys, thank you for joining me today. And if you're catching this on the replay, you'll know it's not a replay by um, the little red, oops, the little red uh, live button. If you don't see that, that means it's a replay. But I still welcome you and come on in and, and share your comments and your questions and I'll be happy to answer those for you. But today, I got some happy mail, guys. Does anybody know what happy mail is? Have you ever heard somebody say they have happy mail? Happy mail is when you get a package or something unexpected and it's it's just makes you happy, right? So today I got some happy mail from um, Redesign with Prima. And I got a whole box. And I haven't shown you a whole box yet, but I will. Um, I've got some IOD molds, I've got some transfers, some really cool stuff. But I thought I'd just come on and show you, and then I'm gonna think I'm going to, I'm gonna pick one of these IOD molds, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and roll them out and play with them, because I've got this piece behind me. It's a real plain chest, and I'm getting ready to do a makeover on that, and it's just really flat. The front panels are flat, and I thought this would be really cool. Maybe we can put some IOD molds on there and kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, right? Dress it up. So let me show you guys what I got. They sent me this big box. There's a huge box over here and I can't pick it up because it's actually really heavy. But I've got tons and tons and tons and more. <laughs> Redesign was so good to me. Hold on, I got more and more. These are transfers, guys. These are transfers. And more. This is a really, really, really big one. Look at the pattern on that. That's really cool. And they even sent me, let me show you these. These are, I think these are waxes. These are like a gilding wax. Look at the different colors. There's a pink and there's a, like a sage green and a rosewood. These are beautiful. These are gilding waxes. I love those. And of course they sent me the IOD molds. Let me put all these back in here. Get these out of the way. These are Fun stuff, guys. Love when I get stuff like this in the mail. Super, super exciting. And I can't focus on anything else other than playing with my stuff. Can I get an amen? Do you uh, get like that when you get something new? You feel like you just have to go and get it right then and do it. It just is calling you. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this one. Let me show you this one. This is really pretty. This is, has like a round design on it. And I thought this would be very pretty maybe on these square panels on this tall chest, maybe just right in the center. What do you think, guys? Yes. Uh, 
Poland says she loves their transfers. Yeah, they're really cool. Did you know, guys, I was reading on the back of this that you can actually, this is food grade. You could actually use this for food. So if you wanted to put chocolate in it, you could make chocolate molds. How cool is that? Which brings me to the next thing. I already been in the kitchen stealing stuff from the kitchen because I know what I'm gonna need for this and I need some kitchen gadgets. I had to wait till Mr. Honeydew left the house before I did it because when I go in the kitchen and start stealing his gadgets to bring back out here to paint, it gets a little upset with me. So what I have, I have some cornstarch. Important to have your cornstarch. And I have, they sent me, it's all packaged. Let me unwrap this really quick. This is paper clay. It's actually the product that you use to smash down inside the molds to actually make, uh, to make these, uh, these transfers, not transfers, these, uh, the molds. This is a bunch. This is a, a whole lot of clay. I can make a whole lot of molds with these. Ooh, and they, they ship really well, guys. They wrap it really well. Obviously. Okay, if you're just joining me, I'm getting ready to uh, actually make some IOD molds with Prima Redesign, and this is the paper clay. It comes in a little tub. Uh, you can actually buy it in smaller containers because I've actually bought it before. But it is in, it's like Play-Doh, guys. If, do you remember when you were a kid and you were playing with Play-Doh? Did anybody play with Play-Doh when they were a kid? I used to love that stuff because you could mold it and make it in anything you want and it would dry hard, right? It's just, it's like Play-Doh, Play-Doh, Play-Doh. So that's what this is. So we're gonna put this here. And you know what else I got from the kitchen? The rolling pan. <laughs> it ain't getting no use anyway. Cause I ain't cooked in forever. I'm ashamed. No, I'm not. Not really, not really. You know, that's the, that's the beauty of things when you get older and the kids are gone and you're not, they're not home anymore, so you don't have to cook if you don't want to, right? That's my story in sticking to it, right? Hey, good morning, or good afternoon, Shelly. Good to see you, honey. Oh, this one's pretty. This is really pretty. Look at this. I like that. So I'm thinking this part here possibly go inside of the squares. I don't know about these. I don't know if I'll even use those. I'm not a real foo-foo-y detail girl. I like just the basics and I think it would be pretty. Hey, Rebecca, good to see you, honey. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do these. So, this is what you do with these. And these are these are actually, um, what are these made out of? They're kind of a resin, some kind of a plastic resin, but look at how flexible they are. They're really cool. They're actually kind of fun just to play with. They feel cool, right? Hey, Christy. Christy's probably at work. I haven't seen you in forever, Christy. How are you, sweetheart? So we have our molds, and then I've got the cornstarch that I stole from the kitchen. I probably should put it in another container, right? And not dip my paintbrush and stuff into it? Uh, probably, but I don't have time for that, so we're not gonna do it. So, let's move this stuff out of there. Has anybody made these clay molds before? Anybody else have any experience with these? I've done a couple of times and they were really fun. So they're super easy. Okay, here's my clay, right? So what you're gonna do first is because if you don't put something inside here, it tends to stick to it. Have you ever um, baked bread? That's the rolling pin, I have baked bread before. When you roll out your dough and you put it on a on a, a surface like this, it sticks. So you put flour on it and it causes it to lift up and then you can peel it off if you're making pie dough or whatever, it actually will peel off. That's the same thing as this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cornstarch and a little paintbrush and I'm just gonna dust the inside of this mold and that's gonna create a barrier that's gonna allow me to pull this out easily because it will get stuck. I'm just gonna put it all over the whole thing. I'm pretty liberal with it. And don't worry if it's not perfect, even when it comes out, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
because these, you know, when you paint over it and you're distressing it, making it look old and vintage, the cracks and the, the irregularities are actually very pretty on your furniture, and I love that. Hey, Peggy, use them on your signs. Actually, yeah, yeah, they make really pretty signs, they do. Hey, Miss Tammy, thanks for joining, girl. So, okay, I got a whole bunch on here. I'm gonna kind of shake a little of that off. Nobody's saying that, right? I don't want to get too much, but I want just enough. Okay, see, I've got it all flowered up. It looks pretty good. So, I'm gonna take some of my clay here. I'm gonna pinch it off with my fingers. And I'm just gonna start smashing it inside the mold. Just smash it in there. It doesn't have to be done any certain way. That's why I got the rolling pin too. I thought, you know, I can take the rolling pin and probably roll over it and make it better or make it easier. It takes a little work. It, it takes a little muscle, guys, and that's okay. It's a good way to take your frustrations out, you know? Instead of uh, going to the fridge and getting some chocolate or a soda or something, come out here and do this. Nah, I'd rather have that. <laughs> okay, smash all this in. It's going to take a little bit, guys. And the good thing about this is that once you've um, you've got a little bit of leftover on the sides, it's okay because you can actually put that back in your um, your clay here and reuse it. So I'm just covering up all the areas here with the, with the clay, and there's a piece in the middle realize this but it actually has this design has like the circle around it and then the indention in the middle so it's actually two pieces to this so I'll have to glue two different items on of this okay All right. so I got that on there I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some more cornstarch I'm just gonna kind of dust over it so it doesn't stick to my rolling pin just a little bit probably put some on the rolling pin would work too but I think we're okay. So I'm gonna take my rolling pin. You can use anything. I have used a paint can before. I've used a can of corn before. I've used whatever I can find that's smooth that's gonna roll this out. You can do it with your hand if you want, but I have found if you do it this way, it gets in the grooves a lot easier. Okay, just smash it down in there well. It's a little work. I'm gonna stand on this, guys. Ugh. Roll it out. Okay. Got it pretty flat over the whole thing. Then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna start pinching away all the extra from the edges. This takes a little bit of time and you want to kind of go easy with it. Remember where your design was. And if you mess up, you just go put another piece on it. It's just like, it's just like the Play-Doh when you were kids, guys. <sighs> hey, Tammy, I'm good now. <laughs> yeah, I'm better now. Yeah, I, ne I needed this. I needed to get away from the computer and just get out here and do something. Okay. All right, it's getting there. Little at a time. And you can play with this and kind of clean it up after you get it out. Just get the general imprint in here. This is just busy work. This is something that's mindless that you can just have fun. Okay. 
Okay. Keep working at it, little at a time. Just peeling all that back. And you notice I'm saving it all. I'm just kind of putting it back on my block. Too fun. Starting to see it take shape. Does anybody else have any tricks to share when they do their IOD modes? Yes, you could do that. And you could also do it with the spatula from the kitchen and I brought this too. So I'm gonna remove the most of it away. Uh, thanks Destiny for that tip. Um, I'm gonna get the largest part away and then I'm gonna go back over with my spatula there and kind of smooth it out. Just like this or a knife. Like she said, you can use a kitchen knife or whatever you have. Trim it off with a knife. Just whatever whatever tool you have. And like I said, if you mess up a little spot, you just take your finger and you mash over it and it's fine. You don't worry about it. Okay. Come on, come on. It's getting there. See, guys? In just a minute, I'll be popping that booger out. Let me even look at it. It's not one of those, when, when you're using the larger ones, I've used the little ones and they're pretty easy. You just smash them in and roll them out really good. But if you have a little bigger one, it's gonna take you a little bit more time to play with this and get it right where you want it. Pretty, pretty. Almost, got a little bit more here to trim, and then I'll show you. Okay, getting there. Hang on. Okay. I think, I think I got it all in there. Okay. All right. So you take your mold now. And because it's flexible and bendable, you can just bend it right out. Be careful. If it breaks, you don't worry about it because you just smash it back together. But using the cornstarch, I have found works like a charm. Look, guys. Ta-da! Can you see that? Let me put this one down and get a little closer so you can see all of the details. Let me break off a little piece of this. You can see how pretty that is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a couple little edges you can take the knife and kind of trim that up and make it look perfect. And this one too. Oh, let me see if I can pick it up without breaking it. It's actually pretty, pretty heavy. You can see all the details on that. Look at how pretty that is. And that literally just took just a little bit. It wasn't a whole lot of time to do this. Now what I like to do, a lot of people I've heard let these dry overnight and then apply them. I like to apply them when they're wet. The reason I like to apply them when they're wet is because you can actually apply them on a flat surface. I'm gonna take this and lay it down and I'm gonna glue it on the surface of this and lay it flat and let it dry. It will shrink and it will crack and it'll make all kinds of cool looking characters and little lines and stuff in here and that's beautiful, but it's wet and it will kind of mold to the furniture. And if you had a piece of furniture that was a rounded corner 
let's say this was a piece of furniture and you wanted to put this mold around it, you can do that too. But when it's wet, you can do that. So you put it on when it's wet. I use wood glue. If I'm gluing it to wood furniture, I just use plain old Gorilla Glue. It works for me. You can use any, I, I don't know. That's just what I have. That's what I, I use and it works and it doesn't come off. And then you just paint right over it. You paint whatever finish you want and it's beautiful. And because I have the gilding waxes, these would be beautiful after it's painted and you go back over the IOD molds and you actually apply the gilding wax to your, your details and just kind of touch it with your finger and make some really pretty colors. It's really, really pretty, guys. Do you like this? Is this something you would do? Um, there is a link if you're interested and you haven't used these products and you'd like to try these products. I do have these products listed in my Amazon shop and there is a list up above on the live that you can go and look at those if you want to just look at them and see. There's lots of different options and choices. These are just a few that they sent me. You can, I mean, there's just endless amounts of them. They're really, really pretty. Hey, Linda, thanks for joining. Yes, I think they are pretty. They're very pretty. And like I said, the trick that I found is the cornstarch. Every time, if you put that cornstarch inside that mold, it pops out like a gem. And you don't have to worry about breaking it and having to redo it. And like I said, even if it breaks, okay, let's do it. Let's do a little thing. Y'all are going to cringe when you see this, okay? Watch this. I'm going to break it. I'm going to literally break it. Oops, sorry. Guess what? Smash it back together. Smash it back together. So don't worry. Don't worry if it's not perfect. And it doesn't matter because you're gluing it on a piece of furniture and it's gonna dry, it's gonna crack and get all aged and crinkly and beautiful anyway. And then when you paint over it, it's even gonna look even better. So don't be afraid that it's too fragile and that you might break it. And even if you pull it out and it breaks, you just smash it back together. Don't worry about it. So, cute, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go, I got lots more, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six of these I gotta make for this uh, this chest. And then I'm gonna start painting. So thanks for joining me today. Thanks for being with my therapy session because I just needed it. I just needed to get out of the office and come and paint and do something. So be creative and enjoy. And if you have any questions about these products at all, please feel free to message me. I would be happy to help you in any way. And to go check out my blogs over at dodsanddesigns.com for lots of more creative ideas on your furniture and home decor. Thanks for joining, guys. We'll talk to you soon.